The following content is rated R and is for mature audiences only. You are now watching H. Fresh. German suplex, oh my goodness. Roman Reigns with the power dominating Antonio Silva at UFC 244. HB Fresh here. What a fight we're in for. Roman Reigns dominating Antonio Silva, who I made the mistake of calling Antonio Minotauro Nogueira. Can't blame me, they both named Antonio. They kind of look alike from afar. I'm sorry, goddammit, I'm sorry. Anyway. Antonio Silva is busted. Roman Reigns is mounted. Roman Reigns is looking to earn his shot against the UFC champion Alistair Overeem. And he's got Antonio Silva mounted. He's got him stacked. Roman Reigns is clubbing at Silva's face. He's back into side control. And we're going into round two. And here we are, round two, Antonio Silva, one of the most seasoned veterans in UFC history versus the best striker in the game today, Roman Reigns with a series of stunning Muay Thai knees clubbing at Antonio Silva, just wearing him down. Antonio's got him pinned up against the cage. Roman is trying to get out. Antonio's got him in takedown position. Who is going to get the leg up here? Roman is in the dominant position. Roman is mounted. Roman is pounding away at Silva, looking to get the TKO. Inside control now. Roman smells blood. He sees the open wound on Antonio Silva. Back into the half guard, clubbing away at Antonio Silva again. Switching into side control so that Antonio Silva does not have the opportunity to counter. Going from side control to half control. Switching. He's. What is he looking to do here? Is he looking to go for the full mount? I think that's what he's looking to do. There he is. He's got it. He's got it. All Roman needs to do is sit up. But Roman is going for the submission. Oh, no. I've never seen Roman go for a submission. Is he? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Can he make Antonio Silva tap out? He's looking to wear down Antonio Silva. Not only is he looking for a knockout, but I think he's looking for a submission. His first submission. Not only would it be amazing for him to get his first submission tonight, going into the number one contender match for the heavyweight title, but against a fighter like Antonio Silva, such a seasoned veteran, it would be astounding. Silva with a nice kick to the body. Roman almost landing with a mean overhand strike. Roman with some nice combos. Silva is stunned. Roman is looking to close in on this fight. Silva's hurt. Silva is down. Roman has won. Roman is going to the heavyweight championship match against Alistair Overeem. Steps into the octagon, and this time, 
He wants to lead with the belt. Seriously? His fight music just took all the intensity out of this situation. Am I fighting Richard Simmons or some shit? Macho, macho, macho man. I've got to be a macho man. And now, this is the moment UFC fans have been waiting for. Live from the sold out. Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, the challenger fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Greco-Roman wrestler, holding a professional record of 19 wins, no losses. He stands 6 feet 3 inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, USA, the Enforcer! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 42 wins, 14 losses, and one no contest. Standing, six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Yo, big well, shack ass. Out of Amsterdam, Netherlands, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Alistair the Reem Overeem. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. Oh, yeah, give him a push up. Yeah. Alistair Overy. Yeah, the enforcer. Here we go. Alistair Shaquille O'Neal Overeem versus Roman the Enforcer Reigns and Reigns gets in early with these Muay Thai knees to the head already putting Alistair in critical condition they're fighting for dominance in the clinch who is going to get the leg up Alistair is deadly in the clinch even more so than Roman you see Roman trying to torque him over into a takedown Roman with more knees to the face but he does not want to go toe to toe in the clinch with Alistair Overeem Alistair is deadly in the clinch the most deadly clinch striker that Roman Reigns has ever faced what a knee that is the striking I was talking about Roman's leg and his body are already feeling the force of Alistair in the clinch that is not where Roman wants to be he realizes it he takes Alistair down he gets a few shots in Alistair gets back up Alistair with some kicks to the body Roman does not want to get hit by those mean strikes by Alistair Overeem oh Roman almost going off the cage hitting Alistair with a Superman punch if he would have hit that this the complexity of this fight would have been totally different Roman with some nice combos they're squaring up on each other looking for openings Roman misses the Superman punch off the cage again Roman with some more Muay Thai knees here we go here we go is Roman going to successfully wear him down Roman trying to take Alistair down. Alistair with some mean body shots. Roman trying to take him down again. Alistair with an even more vicious body shot. And that's the end of round number one in this championship title fight.
And here we are in the second round of this championship title fight. Alistair Overeem, Roman Reigns, it can go either way. Roman Reigns has Alistair up against the cage, goes for the Superman punch but misses. Muay Thai clinch, Alistair breaks out. Alistair with a flush shot while Roman Reigns lands a mean two punch combo. Roman is up against the cage, Alistair hasn't pinned. This is not a good place for Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns gets out of that desperate situation with a power slam to the ground. Side control, hammer fist to the face. Roman Reigns is looking to stay in the dominant position, but Alistair Overeem gets up. Oh, Alistair with a mean shot to the kidneys. Roman alternating knees to the body and to the head. Gets him in the Muay Thai clinch. It's in tight. Alistair Overeem counters it. Now he has the dominant position. Roman breaks out. Roman goes for the Superman punch. Alistair counters and hits him with a knee, with a knee to the body. Knees to the body now by Roman Reigns in the Muay Thai clinch. They're at a standstill in the clinch, but Roman is not as powerful of a clinch striker as Alistair is. Roman is a ground striker. That's why you see Roman trying to attempt going to the ground, but Alistair has done his homework on his opponent. He knows what Roman is good at, what Roman wants to do, where Roman doesn't want to be, and right now, Roman does not want to be here. He does not want to be here. He's pinned up against the cage while Alistair is in the dominant position. The knees by Alistair are wearing away at Roman's base. Roman's legs are hurt. Roman's power comes straight from his legs. That's where the Superman punch gets all of its torque. If that is taken away from him, you take the vertical base away from a monster, he is no longer a monster. And that's what Alistair Overeem looks to do. Alistair Alistair is looking to become the monster in this fight, and he may get a monster knockout if he keeps hitting Roman Reigns with knees like that. Oh, Roman just dodged a vicious knee. Oh my goodness. Roman is now in the Muay Thai position, looking to get Alistair to the ground, and he does. He's mounted. He is pounding away. Just clubbing away at Alistair Overeem, looking to stay in the dominant position. Roman doing some good work on the ground here, and Alistair Overeem counters. Roman had the fight won. Roman, just a few more shots, and this fight would have been over, and we would have named a new champion. This fight is very evenly matched, and this is easily the toughest test Roman Reigns has ever faced. There it is! That's the shot Roman Reigns has been looking for. That is the first shot to the head that Roman has been looking for. He tries to go for it again. He got greedy. He got greedy on that exchange. Alistair saw it coming and he almost got caught in that deadly clinch and he's caught in the deadly clinch again. Alistair wearing down on the legs and body of Roman Reigns. Look at those crippling shots. Look at the damage done to Roman Reigns' body. Roman is trying to work with what he has, but his legs and his midsection are greatly damaged. Roman Reigns has been hitting Alistair Overeem with shots that any other man would probably go down from, but his big shack ass has taken these punches, and perhaps that's a testament to his fortitude, or perhaps that's a testament to his ability to take away Roman Reigns' power by crippling his legs and body. Oh, look at Roman trying to sneak in a last minute takedown. He is lucky he didn't get disqualified for that. No fighter has ever tested Roman Reigns' endurance and fortitude like Alistair Overeem. We know Roman Reigns is a quick, knockout, pure striker who looks to end it early and end it in explosive fashion. But we never knew the longevity. We never knew how long 
Roman Reigns could keep that striking going. And Roman has proved he's taken everyone in this arena by surprise. And Alistair Overeem has gone back to doing what he does best, pinning his opponent up against the cage, but Roman gets out of it, puts him in the dominant position, gets him in a submission. What is, is Roman? Roman is locking it in tighter. Is Alistair going to get out? What's Alistair going to do? Oh, Roman could have won not only his first UFC Heavyweight Championship, but won his first championship by his first submission. What a shocker that would have been. Roman needs to protect his face. That's what needs to happen right now because Alistair is not a weak striker. That is not where Alistair's game needs work. Roman could be knocked out at any moment. That's why he needs to stay in the dominant position because although Roman may be winning the rounds, he is still in critical condition and his body is weak, he's tired, he's drained, he's not gassed, he's got plenty left in him, but at the same time, his body is wounded, and he cannot take shots like this. Superman punch. They have worked into the deep waters. Four rounds complete. One round remains in this UFC title fight. Roman dodges the side kick and Superman punch. And it looks like all those knees and shots to the face by Roman Reigns has gotten the better of Alistair Overeem and Roman smells blood in the water. Oh! Alistair Storm, stop the fight! We have a new heavyweight champion of the world, Roman Reigns! Thing left to do. Do it all over again on parole.